Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in San Diego today. It's a rainy San Diego day. It's uh, March 18 and uh, you know, we're amidst this coronavirus thing happening. We don't know what's going to happen. They're talking about shutting down everything. You know, a couple of cities have already shut down. Uh, San Francisco, New York is kind of half, half, half and half. It, it's a crazy time, but I've got a new product to show you, which I think is uh, pretty amazing. It's actually an, an improvement from the existing MCK. It's the MCK2. And it's, uh, you know, as you know, uh, a fun piece that will accept a Glock handgun. And because it has the pistol brace on it and it has this uh, extension, it's not considered a rifle, it's still considered a pistol. And you can shoot it from the shoulder. That's the way the law reads, okay? So uh, it, it's a pretty neat, neat piece because it's foldable stock, easy to store, easy to put away, easy to deploy. And we're going to go ahead and talk about the new MCK2 today because I want to show you the features and, and a couple things that they did. Now, uh, Mikey Hartman is my friend. He's uh, uh, the owner of, uh, or the CEO of uh, uh, the MCK uh, company. And he, um, uh, and I talk a bunch. And, you know, when he, when he put the first one out, I said to him, hey, Mike, you know, I'm cutting my hand up all over the place because the first MCK, the original MCK, and, and really it was, a, it was a, uh, an improvement from the Roni, uh, came out. And the edges were super sharp and a lot of, you know, pieces on it were just really sharp. And I, I kept saying, you know, is it me or am I just cutting my hands? Am I the only person who's complaining about this? And I think he also, you know, felt the same thing. So what he did is he, he refined uh, a lot of the parts uh, to the MCK and, and took off a lot, of, broke a lot of the edges for one. I know that. He also uh, made this uh, gate much easier to operate. I mean, the old one was just a bear. The gate locks the gun in. You press the button push down and pull it out and it's that easy the old one you have to you know really get onto and really pry out uh, but he improved that in fact you know looking at the actual polymer or plastic itself I would say that he uh, he improved uh, the uh, the mix of uh, polymer and um, and nylon because that's how they make it rigid like this uh, with the nylon in bed there because it, it just looks a little bit more finished and it looks a little cleaner and certainly like I said he broke a lot of the edges and all the pieces and parts work a little bit better together so overall it's a, an improvement from the original MCK and it's certainly an improvement over the Roni let's go ahead and uh, talk about some of the other improvements that uh, uh, he put into this thing and in fact when we were at the SHOT Show in, in Las Vegas uh, in uh, January 2020 uh, Mikey and I got together and we did a video which I want to show you uh, at a separate basis so it should be a separate video because it's pretty long and this one's going to be pretty long too and so there'll be a separate video on this page somewhere but that's uh, uh, my interview with Mike uh, at the uh, Mikey at the uh, SHOT Show uh, 2020 about the new MCK2 and so uh, by the time you're seeing this video it's, it's like I said it's March uh, they're now readily available they'll be on our website and uh, we've got some different colors available, but here are the improvements uh, over and above. And I've got them written down, so I don't forget. First and foremost, they did is they put a Picatinny rail in aluminum on top of the polymer. And they, you know, you can see they screwed it in here. Uh, the reason they went to aluminum is because the polymer would, you know, crush and move a little bit when people tighten down and, and their sight would possibly move. And so the aluminum gives you a better uh, mounting system for your optic. All right, so uh, I'll show you this in just a bit. I don't want to put it on right now. So an aluminum Picatinny rail was uh, one of the other ones. Now, the other thing that they did is they uh, gave uh, the magazine, the spare magazine hole, they gave it a release button. So it used to be a kind of a press fit in there. And now it actually works just like a regular magazine button. You push in and it comes straight out. It, it catches on the notch of the magazine. Um, before, like I said, the original version was just a press fit, a friction fit. Uh, it took a little bit of effort to get out, but also they found, you know, with shooting, you know, because you find these things when you, you know, you shoot 10 or 20,000 rounds through it, that it started to vibrate out. And depending upon the temperature and where you were, if that plastic was swelling up a little bit, out would come the magazine after a couple rounds and you'd go, oh, that's no good. So he improved that with a magazine release button uh, that allows you to uh, capture the magazine properly in that spare magazine hole. So that was one other good thing. Uh, the other thing uh, that they did is they allow now uh, the uh, MCK 
two will accept Glocks with suppressor height sights. A lot of people said, hey, I can't put it in because my sights are too tall. Well, that's no fun, right? Okay, so uh, they actually made the cavity enough so that the suppressor height sights will be accepted in this gun and this uh, MCK2. So uh, that's another nice thing for it. Uh, one other thing is the charging handle has been improved a little bit the way it wraps around and captures uh, the uh, serrations there. So when you actually put the gun in, and uh, let me go ahead and I'll show you this real quick. So when you actually have the gun, make sure, of course, it's unloaded. Pull the trigger in safe direction. Magazine's out. No, no ammunition in this room because we're just doing testing, right? We're not going to shoot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and stick the gun into this section here, and we're going to line it up with the, uh, with the charging handle rails, and then we're just going to push it straight down. And you'll hear it click in. That's always a good sign, right? So you see how it kind of captures itself. I know it's going to be hard to see black on black in there, but it really gets a nice, good capture on the gun itself, so it makes charging that much easier. And then once you have it in there, you just push it forward, and oh, is this going to go all the way for me or what? There we go. And now it's captured in, and you'll see that it got cowled up on this uh, takedown lever right there. So I just took it. This is the first time. I mean, this is brand new, so it has not been worked before. I literally just got it out of the box. So um, uh, that is it. So that's one of the other improvements is that it takes those uh, suppressor right sights. Uh, the other thing uh, is that he uh, installed a, uh, a brass catcher clip or holder so that it'll actually clip on to the side here. This is this little piece right here and uh, you'll be able to catch your breasts. And a lot of people, that's very important because you know you shoot a lot of rounds with these because you have the capacity to really control the gun nicely. And uh, with uh, that brass catcher, you get to catch all your breasts. Pretty awesome, huh? So uh, that's really it. I think the other thing that um, uh, he mentioned to me when we were there is that now the foldier is a little bit better shaped so that you can actually get a, gun, a grip on the gun when it's in the folded position and actually shoot when it's in folded position much easier. You could do it before, but it's just hard to get your finger in there and actually get a real good grip on it. Now, I will say this, just as, and again, this is like the first time I've really played with it. Just holding it here like this is, is pretty cool, but I'm going to look back here. I'm going to tell you that this piece right here, uh, it looks like it is just extra meat. I'm going to dremel that thing off because it's, it's intersecting with my, my, my uh, wrist right there. So when I grab the gun, you can see how that plastic's gonna just beat me up right there. And uh, you know, you start shooting a bunch of rounds and you know, I'll end up with a, uh, a little bruise or a little uh, cut there. And so I think what I can do is just get in there and just buzz that right off, sand it off with some sandpaper, put a little WD-40 on it and it'll look perfect and no one will ever know it happened. But I know it'll be a much smoother. In fact, I'll actually bevel that edge a little bit so that when my hand gets in there, it rests on, a, on an angle versus a, a sharp edge. So and anyways, those are the improvements that they made. And this package is awesome. And I'm telling you what, uh, I've, you know, the original uh, MCKs, we've sold a bunch of, well, uh, it's really cool. So here's how, you know, you basically can shoulder it up here like this. And the way you operate this thing is, is, is basically you find a spot in your shoulder and you bring the gun up to your eye. So you keep your head erect and you just bring it straight up. Now, that's the bare model, the, uh, the bare bones in a sense, the, uh, the base model. Is, there it is. It's, of course, the handgun is not included. All right, now looking at this thing, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and, and take the gun out. Then I'm going to put these accessories on. So to take the gun out, we're going to push the... Uh, button for the gate, and then we're going to go ahead and pull the gate back, open the gate up, grasp the gun, pull down on the takedown levers both sides, and pull straight back. And once it comes back, then you can just torque the gun straight out with a, a wrist motion, pull it straight down, and it should come right out just like that. Perfect. And again, this one's pretty tight because it has not been played with at all. All right, so there's the, uh, the base model as it comes from the factory. Guns not included. But I'm going to suggest that each and every one of you think about this accessory kit because it's a great value because of some really cool stuff. Uh, first and foremost, uh, this light. The light alone is really, really cool. So you're going to notice that the light works with one button and not the other. So you have to determine to yourself which way you want to turn it. If you want to operate it from the right side or you want to operate it from the left side. I'm going to use my thumb to operate it, so I'm going to go ahead and install the light this way. 
uh, we go ahead and take this light out by replacing, uh, we install the light by, by uh, taking out the uh, spacer here, and this thing is tight as well, so let me go ahead and get in here and I'll pinch both sides of this and pull it straight out. And again, like I said, it is tight, but here it comes. So that's just the spacer. That's all that is. So again, you got to pinch that and pull these guys out. Then, like I said, just make sure you get it lined up properly the way you want. I'm going to go ahead and have uh, it facing this way. And so this light's going to go in right here like so. So I'm just going to stick it in the hole. And there we go. And just drive it straight back and it kind of clicks into place. And now I can operate that light with my thumb while I'm in the shooting grip. Now, that alone is, is a great accessory. And we do sell that as a separate piece. But uh, when you buy it as a kit, you get a whole better deal, a much better deal. One of the things I really uh, also suggest you do is, is get into these um, uh, thumb rests. And they just slip right onto this uh, Picatinny rail. I believe they go straight over top. So what we're going to do is just get them straight into there. Right from the back side, maybe, or the front side. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah, we go. There we go. So now you can adjust that by picking this thing up and pushing it down a little bit more. Whoops. Now I slipped all the way through. So we'll go first step first is right here and pull this up a little bit, the tab. That's a pretty good spot. Maybe one more for my hand. Okay. So now I've got a thumb rest, which I really think is a good idea just to have, you know, something to, to rest on so you're not migrating your hand out there in front of that muzzle. Very important. Okay. Now, the other thing that I really like, uh, if you don't have an optic, are the pop-up sights. And these are pretty cool and they go on, you know, with your Allen wrench, you loosen up your rail system and they're just going to go right on the rail so you take the whole thing out and this is the rear sight it's going to live back here is that right that's right let's see here pull that guy forward here like so so it's going to live back here like so okay so let's see so we're going to slide these guys right on and then we would adjust it and find out where you want it to operate these. You just basically, once it's locked in place, you basically pull forward and the, the sight pops up. So it's called a pop-up sight. Again, like so. That's not a bad option. However, because we have lots of toys, we're going to go ahead and add an optic instead. And this optic has a, uh, a rail system. Picatinny rail system, just uh, basically loosen up, and we go like so. So let's put it over here. Uh, about right here is probably going to be good. And you want to adjust this for your eye relief. So when you look into the the sight, you see a full circle. It doesn't it's not a half circle. It's not you know out out of uh, whack. If you put it too close or too far, sometimes if I put it out here, I'm not going to see the same uh, picture. So you want that when you want when you get it set up and you have it locked in place, you don't want to have to move your head. You want it to be able to, like I said, you want to keep your head still, bring the sight up. And so you basically bring the sight into your line of sight. And then you can aim from there. So I think I'm gonna put it right about here and I'm gonna lock it in just by tightening down this little rail. So it's pretty simple, as you can expect. Okay, so that does not come with the accessory kit. That's just something I had. I just wanted to show you that it will accept your sights, whether they be a red dot optic, and this is just a standard uh, optic, kind of a low cost optic, just to be able to put on this thing uh, to have something different. And it's pretty cool. Okay, that said, not a bad package so far, right? But there's one other thing that I really think makes this and makes it you know, hot. Let me finish this uh, sight up so I don't forget. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this, um, oh, that's for the rear sight, excuse me. I'll put this back in here so I don't lose it because once you lose it, then you're never happy. So there's the rear sight. I'm not going to use these sights. 
I'm going to go ahead and use that optic like I said, but I want to show you this. This is the uh, swing, sling swivel. <laughs> sling swivel. Say that 20 times. Uh, the sling swivel is really cool because it's a single point, and it's going to operate right here uh, on this, and they've got it all dialed in, ready to accept it. And you just basically pop it in, and there it is. So I'll take it out by pushing the button on top there, just an in and out button, kind of a neat little piece. Um, one of the things uh, that makes this really cool is this uh, single point sling. And you know, this package alone, these two pieces alone uh, are worth just the whole kit almost. The, uh, uh, the single point sling is a great option because it really allows you to carry the gun right here in front of you hands free. And that's what, that's what I like a lot of, about it. And you don't have to worry about it falling off. Uh, this works pretty simply. Going to go ahead and just uh, drop this through there. And then we'll go ahead and capture it. Let me do this real quick. Just like this. Just like that. There we go. And then we'll capture it one more time in here. And there you have it. Just like that. You drape this over your left shoulder. So my right shoulder is open because I'm right-handed, and I can shoulder the, the gun like that. And then finally, let's go ahead and install this gun again, and we'll show you the, the final look here. Okay, so we're gates open, right? Get that out of the way, open that thing up, get that in the back. This is a Glock 19, that's a Gen 4 gun. Yes, or Gen 5 gun, actually. Okay, and that's the nice thing about this particular new MCK uh, versus the, uh, uh, the Roni, the old Roni, is that this uh, MCK is designed to fit a whole bunch of guns. Uh, and, and they've got them listed on the inside here, so I might as well just read them off for you. It's uh, Glock 17, Glock 18, which is the full auto version, 19, 19X, 19 22, 23, 20, uh, 31, 32, uh, and the, um, the Glock 45. So basically, your full size, smaller frames, which are the 940 and 357, and your mid size smaller frames, as well as the 19X, which is a really interesting concept, and uh, the uh, new uh, Glock uh, 45. Is that right? Yeah, okay. So, okay, now let's go ahead and drop this gun in. Again, same concept. We're going to go ahead and kind of line it up and visually see it. And when you hear it click like that, it's usually a good thing. All's good. Let's go ahead and just slam it home. And there it is in. Close my gate. Lock the gate. And that's the package. Now, to top it all off, certainly you can use the Glock Factory Magazine. 15 rounds, which is not a bad option, right? But I want to show you this new one. I just did a video on these. This is the new uh, tw 29 round steel magazine that will fit your Glocks. So you got 29 rounds in that little package and it is just good to go. So that is the new MCK2 that we have available here on our website. Bunch of different colors, lots of great new features, which we just went over, and a whole lot of fun. I'm Lenny McGill. This, of course, is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop. Here in San Diego, I want to take this out to Tennessee and uh, shoot it. So I'll probably do another video uh, that may be right next to this one on this same page. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.